Good morning, you guys. It is Friday. This week has really flown by. Let's make some breakfast. I made a little egg sandwich. This week has been so interesting. I've never spent this much time, I feel like, alone. Like, I feel like I'm experiencing what some people did during COVID quarantine. And I could have gotten someone to visit me, I'm sure, but I just kind of didn't want to because I knew I would not get like any work done. And I wasn't that productive last week, so. To be honest, I really haven't felt lonely and I haven't even really been bored because I get so engrossed when I'm editing or shooting something like, and the time just goes by really fast. All of a sudden it's the evening. I like to go on a nice walk with a podcast. Um, FaceTimed a friend the other day. So I don't know, the time has actually gone by really fast, surprisingly. I'm okay with it for a week. I actually feel good knowing I can spend a week just kind of with myself and be fine. Like that's kind of good to know. I don't want to live my life this way and I'm excited to go to LA next week and like live a normal life. It's kind of nice to know because it makes me feel like, oh, I could move anywhere in like that period of time when you first move somewhere and you don't know that many people, like I'd be fine. Just took my daily vitamin C. I have not felt that productive here. Like I said, just not being in my environment and not being in my routine. It's so weird. I find traveling at all. I just is so much harder for me to get done the things I'm normally able to get done. I have to get my workout in first, you guys. Workout time. Let's go. Workout complete. See how it is? I've never had Shakeology before, but honestly, it's pretty good. Should be a good amount of like protein in there too. So cute how Lucky's owner will text me to see photos of her. He did. I'm making sure that my video, my main channel video is ready for tomorrow. I've created a YouTube short and a TikTok for it. And I'm also now repurposing it into a medium article. I came over to my house today to film a little bit. I want to do an update video. And I also wanted to grab a couple of these glasses because I'm going to make a yummy little mocktail later. So I have my microphone on, but I came inside and it was blasting air conditioning. Our solar panels are not installed yet. So I'm just like, no, I think the cleaners, they came today. And when they leave, I guess this is good for me to know. I don't think they're turning off the AC. Once we have solar panels, I do not give a fuck. Like you can keep it on, whatever. But right now I'm like, that's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for when, for no one even being here. Recording a video here now. a good amount of shots. I shot for like only two or three hours here, but it is really hot. I need to go feed the dogs. I picked up some tacos. Look how cool this is. I'm trying to make like a margarita, but no alcohol. I feel like it would be good. So orange, lime, and agave. I made it kind of like a slushy, but it tastes like a spicy margarita a little bit. Mmm. Obviously no tequila, but the jalapeno so gives it a little kick. Oh my gosh, we have a really pretty sky tonight, you guys. This is so good. It's kind of like a sorbet. It's basically frozen orange chunks. Blended those, some lime juice and agave. That's it. Oh, and some jalapeno. I blended that in too to make it spicier. Good morning, another day in California. We're headed to LA today. My flight actually, I booked to leave from LA because this time of year, the flights to and from Palm Springs were actually $600. And from LA, I can book it with points and it's so little points. It's almost like paying nothing versus paying $600. I'd rather pay nothing. And my parents offered to drop me off. Coincidentally, I was also invited to this cool dinner event on Wednesday. And my friend Sarah was like, you can stay at my house. I'm not in town. So why not go to LA for a few days? I'm gonna try and film a video while I'm there and also just like eat up 
with people I haven't seen in a long time. I really like this dress. It actually is so cool. It's a little big, but I, ma I made the belt tighter so that it's not too big. It's just like big here. This concludes my week living in a retirement community. It was very relaxing. to get a quick lunch but we're eating light because we are going to have the best deal in Malibu for dinner. What do you guys think of LA? I love LA. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is so funny because this is like Something that never would have happened if you guys lived in Washington, where you can oh, just yeah. casually come to LA. I mean, I don't live here anymore, but it's still fun. And what you do you will, think? Though. I just predict that. <laughs> he just predicts that. Oh, it's amazing to be less than, what, an hour and a half away? Oh, yeah. You're, we're at the ocean right now. Especially if you've lived in a place like Washington, Seattle, for 40 years or more. This is just paradise so funny to me it's like mind-blowing to have you guys here because you didn't come to visit LA that much when I oh, lived yeah. here because it's kind of you know it's crowded and like it's just like a lot to come visit but it's really fun having you here love they would love Rosen. I would definitely like to find a place to come here more often where we could like stay for a week or a month yeah and it would have a to guest room situation you'd have to have a dog guest room too yeah. so buy a house here and we'll be over plenty We'll help you mm. pick, we'll help you what if that. I need any renovation projects? No problem. <laughs> no bathrooms. What? I thought you were tapped out. Uh. No bathrooms. <laughs> no bathrooms. No bathrooms. Easy things. Malibu always has the coolest souvenirs. Like nice, the nice sunscreen. <laughs> Do you see her? She was <laughs> I am back. Had a fun time. We went to Duke's in Malibu, which has a really great Taco Tuesday deal. I just love the vibe of that place. It feels like you're in Hawaii or something. The whole day I've been trying to get video shots for not only the vlog, but also a main channel video I'm doing about LA. So I was doing that as we were hanging out. So it was kind of like working while having fun. So I'm staying at a friend's house. They are not in town, but they have a guest room and I am on plant duty. I'm going to water all of their plants and keep them alive. Good morning from LA. I just postmated Starbucks. I I never post me anymore, but I didn't have a chance to get coffee for the morning. I did order a new vlog camera, so I got some comments about the iPhone quality. Some of you loved it, some of you didn't love it, and I, I like it, but the editing process is slower because I have to re-download them all from the cloud. It's just easier to have a separate vlog camera, and I do think the separate vlog camera is better for some clips, so I'll probably do a mix in the future, but currently editing. Even just 15 minutes can get the endorphins. We've got some June gloom going on today. This actually is perfect because I'm gonna be recording outside a lot today. And let me tell you, sometimes that direct sunlight, it just is harder to film it. It's so easy to get overwhelmed with my to-do list, but I'm trying to film a video while I'm here and I'm gonna break it into chunks. So we're gonna film the first part before I go to lunch and I'm just gonna try and get this one section done and not think about the whole video. Just break things into small chunks, focus on that. Let's record some video shots.
I am just going through these shots that I got and syncing up the audio. I feel like they're okay. Part of me is like, ugh, maybe I should go to more iconic locations. I don't really have the time to, so we'll make do with this and see. Yes, this is so exciting. <laughs> Stopped at Target, waiting for my Uber now. Wanted to get a couple things to eat tomorrow morning and also a thank you gift for Sarah and Adam. Here's a little thank you gift. I thought this red wine looked good. La Crema Chardonnay is so good. So I figured the red must be. I thought this was a pretty card, obviously going to fill it out. <laughs> I took the Micro Metro thing there and I have a lot of thoughts about it. So Metro Micro is a public transportation service in LA. It's only a dollar and a driver picks you up at a bus stop and will take you wherever you want. But they did pick up someone along the way and it ended up taking kind of a long time to get to this Target. I tried it out for my video. I don't think I I would ordinarily take it because it does end up taking a lot longer. So it's an interesting idea for public transportation in LA, but I don't know if it's like the best solution. All right, here is what I'm wearing to this event. All Aritzia. <laughs> I just ordered an Uber. from the dinner very worth going to met some really cool people the food was amazing i'm so tired it's 10 p.m i was there for like four hours time to sleep i got a solid two hour editing session in i feel like when i don't get good sleep i just you can just see it in you you know i didn't get super good sleep last night i'm gonna have a cold brew <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm going to go edit with my friend Aaron and catch up with him. I haven't seen him in a while, so that will be fun. It's so weird being in LA. It's always weird going back to somewhere that you used to live. I still like LA and it's fun, but also the nostalgia factor, it makes me a little bit sad. I also feel when I'm in LA, pressure to be doing a lot of things. And I don't like that pressure. I actually like doing a lot of things, but I don't like the pressure of it. I'm having some leftover pasta from that event last night. This is literally lobster a la vodka like a kind of lobster spaghetti. So good. Oh my God, it's so, so amazing. That restaurant was insane. I'm about to head to the airport. Very ready to get back home. Back with my favorite pups. Oh, you like playing with Baylor. Oh. <laughs> Keep the new floors. No they look no. so good. No. This townhouse has gotten no. an upgrade. I'm back in Seattle. You can see the rain. Seattle is Seattling today. It is super rainy. I slept so much last night. I slept in till 9.30. <sighs> I feel like a totally different person. I feel so relaxed. I just came back from traveling and not getting good sleep for the last like three nights. And wow, I needed that. Love that. For me, I feel just so good right now. Step two, we are hitting the gym. Before I go inside, I always like to set a timer for how long I'm gonna work out. It's a Saturday, I don't really have anything on my agenda. I have plenty of time. So I'm gonna do 40 minutes, that's what we're gonna do. So including some stretching, I feel like that will be great. I'll be real with you guys, I don't really feel like working out today. Coming back from traveling and being kind of out of my workout routine, it's kind of hard to get back into it, but we're just getting there. We're just getting to gym. Okay, workout 
done. Feeling tired, but feeling good. Next thing we need to do is get organized. I'm all about timers. There we go, 25 minutes. What do you know, it took me 25 minutes exactly to get this thing unpacked. Pretty satisfying. <laughs> I think you might be getting a little too old to hang out on this table. Hi, cow, you haven't been in the vlog in a minute. And Baylor, we can't forget you. Doing some laundry. We'll just not listen to it though. I would say I'm probably about halfway done with the unpacking cleaning process. I fully unpacked, but now there's still just a lot of stuff everywhere, but gotta have lunch. It was a good point to take a break, so I got I got some stuff to have a healthy little meal. Gonna have this salad. So happy that strawberries are in season. Another attempt, giving my hair a blowout. It's always a little bit frizzy, but I like how the ends look. I think they look pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit of brainstorming on my computer. I'm having one of those recess drinks. Strawberry rose flavor is so delicious. I literally thought Shelby went to the salon to like get a haircut. Yeah, she was like, did you get a haircut? You're having looks, a good hair day. Yeah, it looks good. It's cause I've been getting better at doing the blowouts and you guys like, you don't need a Dyson Airwrap to do it. I've just been using a regular ass Revlon hair dryer. That was probably like 30, 40 bucks. I want to get a round brush. I want to get though the attachment, the circular attachment. Yeah. So I do think that is probably easier. Easy, easier. I'm, it's taking, it takes a long time when you use a round brush. It's probably quicker that way. So yeah, the beginning of this vlog was about getting out of a rut and basically I just had a a chill post travel get my life together day and I don't feel like out of a rut exactly but I've been in a rut all week. I have two. A lot of people have I think. I don't know like I was filming a bit when I was in LA and it just wasn't I, I just don't really like how it turned out. Yeah, it affects my mood big time. If I feel like the video I'm making that week, I'm not proud of it. Same. I'm just like, I suck at life. I think it's because I, probably a lot of people can relate. A lot of us tie a lot of our self-worth to our productivity yes. and what we've accomplished. Like in some ways that's good because I think that's like all, you just hit the nail on the head. It is. And so <laughs> when you're not as productive, you literally feel like a piece of shit. Like you feel like you're not even worthy, whatever, mm -hmm. which is isn't true like it's not great to tie yourself worth to that but That's our society kind of like forces it on you but like I think a, a healthy amount of that is good because getting things done and being productive is definitely a mood booster a self-esteem booster you know mm -hmm. but on the flip side it sucks if you have an off week which is gonna happen you know you feel kind of bad about yourself because everyone gets in this sort of funk at times, and you're gonna get out of it. You're gonna be just fine. Wow, that looks so good. They don't look that appetizing. They're so good. This is what they look like when you buy them from Costco. It just looks kind of like, oh, like, okay. Look at that. La yum. It's because you put oil down, so of course, it's gonna cook real good. And they taste so good. The chicken is really good. Now, I'm making some quesadillas. That concludes this day of the vlog. Didn't do a whole lot, but it was relaxing and I needed it. Your hair still just looks so good. Thanks. Look how cute Lily is. She's so sleepy. Oh, just, just get your daily dose of Sheltie.